Okay, this is just a quick little follow-up video. Uh, we got through putting out our uh, our chemicals out on the out on the test plot, and uh, so this is just basically to show you what we've been doing. So there's our test plot out there, and we actually have a a little log that we keep every time that we come out here to show our application rate and what we've been doing now on this log you'll see that uh, uh, the very first application that we put out was actually a little bit weak and the reason for that is because we actually miscalculated we thought we were putting it out at a uh, at a uh, on only half an acre and it turned out we were actually putting it on a full acre so um, so we had it had it weak so we corrected it this time so what your um, actual application rate should be um, the, uh, on the very first time that you put out apps at 80 uh, you're going to want to put out uh, 30 ounces per acre uh, and in all of these mixes are going to be with uh, 10 to 20 gallons of water per acre um, we put ours out at uh, 15 to 20 gallons actually on this one I think it was 20 gallons and um, but uh, apps 80 on the very first application you're going to want to put out 30 ounces per acre and then on the second application two weeks later you'll drop that down to 15 ounces per acre and um, and then every time after that should be once a month and for best results uh, you'll want to do it once a month again at the 15 ounces per acre and, and, and maintain that throughout the entire um, throughout the entire time um, and then on the NutriPlant AG uh, that's the foliar application that's the micronutrients uh, for the plant itself uh, we put out 16 ounces per acre 15 ounce, 15 to 16 ounces uh, per acre and uh, that is also going to be the same thing um, that's going to be once a month and then on the NutriPlant SL uh, the reason that we put out the NutriPlant SL is because this grass is in its initial growing stage because this was harvested not that long ago and so our goal is to actually get the grass to, to grow uh, it actually uh, the St. Augustine actually produces runners. You can see one right here that's that's coming out this way and you want this to fill in as quickly as possible. And so that's the goal is we want this to actually fill in faster than um, than what they normally have fill in. And uh, the NutriPlant SL is going to help stimulate some of the little uh, roots that are left over whenever they do harvest um, you're wanting to get those roots to stimulate and uh, grow faster and then of course the SL getting on the the plant that's already there is going to help their roots as well but um, that's basically what we're doing uh, big thanks to uh, Tommy Hanka and Hanka Saad uh, for letting us come out here and of course his uh, right hand man Wayne Keller um, for letting us come out here and do this test plot and we're going to be coming out here every two weeks in order to um, keep doing this test and uh, throughout the entire growth stage of this St. Augustine and um, until it's ready to harvest and um, so we've already gotten big results uh, from the APSA 80 just from the uh, initial application which was again like i said it was actually a weak first application we'd only put it out, out at 15 ounces per acre on the on the first time and uh, we already got phenomenal results of course you'll see the link uh, to that result um, in the description below but uh, anyway uh, much for watching and of course uh, james is out here with me and uh, he's been helping me uh, with this every step of the way and um, so we big thanks to him as well so uh, anyway we'll catch you next time and subscribe